So, hey y'all, how's it going? I'm Joy, that is Steve, and we are back with more of the NFL Predictions versus this would be Season 4. Yeah, hard to believe there, uh, the time flies there between uh, February to the first game of the regular season there. Yeah, it, it really does. Um, So you wanted to go over some stuff before we got started with the actual uh, predictions themselves, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, first of all, we gotta say hello to our two new participants. Uh, yes, we do. Papa Agron and Troll are joining us this season, so I'm very happy for that. And um, reading everybody's predictions on the video is gonna be very, very, very fun. Because um, they mm -hmm. usually give reasons for it as well. So uh, I, I already know kind of what's happening, and I'm really looking forward to the end of the video so that I can get your reactions to their reasons. Mm-hmm. That's true. So it was a rather uh, productive off season as well. I believe you said you wanted to go over um, some of like the big changes and shocks that we had before we get true. started. <clears throat> well, obviously, the top one is obviously uh, Mr. Rogers uh, going from Green Bay to the Jets. There. Yeah, he uh, he took his neighborhood to Jersey, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, but I am pretty happy that I called it. I will say that because um, I said that he was going to follow Favre's uh, path. Whether he continues on down that path and does other Favre-like things, that's to be determined. But yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Sure. I even uh, heard on news there uh, a bar in Green Bay there is going to comp, comp uh, people's drinks if every time uh, Aaron Rodgers loses a game. I love that idea. I would go even further and do some kind of uh, like a free pizza or something on every interception that he throws. Mm -hmm. Just, True. you know, truly celebrate the fails yeah. that are bound to come. Now, personally, I do think that they're going to have a good year. Um, I don't want them to, and I want True. them to fall flat on their face for kind of, in a way, doing what Tampa and the Rams did when they tried mm -hmm. to buy their way to a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I just, it, I've seen it work in the past, and I think it's going to work again. But sure. God, I don't want it to. I really, sure. really don't want it to. Yeah, but I, but I, I think uh, the Jets there will, will get into the playoffs, but barely there. Probably like the final wild card spot or something like that. Yeah, maybe we have a whole um, sheet coming up at the end of the video for the. Uh, Super Bowl predictions uh, mm -hmm. that we have <clears throat> from week one. So we can compare that to the end of the year and see who's right. And also um, mm -hmm. there will be bonus points allotted at the end of the year for people who get one or both teams right and mm -hmm. the score. So if you're lucky enough to get the score correct, mm -hmm. even more bonus points. Yeah. <clears throat> So, it's a long shot, but, yeah. but but it'll be worth it. Yep, and that's what I like about it is, yes, it's a long shot, but if you get it right, you definitely deserve the points because it's all about who knows the league and the game of football the best. So mm -hmm. being able to get it right this far in advance, you deserve all the points. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you win. Congratulations. <laughs> so we kind of want to make it more interesting and kind of have it be literally anyone's game at the end mm -hmm. of the year because you know last year it was kind of kind of out of reach like first place was so far out of reach from last that it kind of made it a little bit more mm -hmm. okay well you win congrats so this yeah. time it's a little mm -hmm. bit more of a uh more of an intriguing season all the way through mm -hmm. but speaking of are you ready for the kickoff of season four here here we go all right let me mark this down because I actually forgot to mark that it was Thursday night on mm -hmm. my notebook because I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, so first off, we have the defending champion Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Detroit Lions. True, your favorite team, the Lions. Yes. Yeah, but uh, it's going to be a celebration night night at Arrowhead there with uh, Mahomes, Kelsey, and the rest of the Chiefs uh, getting their rings there and they're raising their banner. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But the question is, uh, will Travis Kelsey be uh, healthy or not? I heard uh, 
hurt on ESPN there. Uh, a knee injury uh, might uh, keep him out of the game there. Yeah, last we heard anything, he hyperextended his knee, and so he is listed as questionable for mm-hmm. week one. Um, now, personally, I think that it could be a, a bit of like a chess play where they're not actually listing him as out of the game mm-hmm. because they don't want Detroit to be able to plan for that. Um, sure. So they're going to like tease that he was injured to bring up the false hopes and then all of a sudden bam he's going to play and then he just destroys the secondary but um i do hope that he does play i I don't want him to be injured i i like the guy um i think that he's arguably the best player on that team aside from mahomes yeah um Uh, do you have him on your fantasy team i was going to but um the one who wasn't there and was doing the auto drafts actually drafted him ahead of me and i'm very mad about it <laughs> like i wanted him but there was no way he was going to be able to fall to me in round two i i yeah. knew that but i was hopeful yeah. uh, my so, tight end i believe is darren waller sure. out of new york so we'll, we'll see how it goes yeah yeah but uh but obviously uh the chiefs they're uh they'll, they'll still have the have a uh, big name receiver there in case uh, Kelsey doesn't uh, play play on Thursday there. So, uh, so with me there, I, I think the Chiefs are gonna gonna win this rather handily there. And uh, so sorry to all the Lions fans there that uh, Chiefs are gonna gonna win this game there. Make it a lock. I will say that I don't think it's gonna be a blowout. I think that the Lions are going to come to play. They might very well surprise some people. But at the same time, I think that if Kelsey doesn't play, I'm expecting uh, the run game to come into uh, play a lot. Which, mm-hmm. again, against the defensive line of Detroit might be a bit of a challenge. Because mm-hmm. we do have a lot of power in the front seven. Or at least the front four. The front seven is a little sketch. But I, I like Kirby Joseph. I think he has potential. Um mm-hmm. And I think Sky Moore would be the good receiver for Mahomes to target if Kelsey is not available. Mm-hmm. All of that being said, I do agree with you. I'm taking the mm-hmm. Chiefs, but I would not be at all surprised yeah. if the Lions pull it off because they're scrappy. They're going in as the underdog, I believe, again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I'm i afraid that they're being set up to fail because of last year. And mm-hmm. so I'm hoping that they can kind of, you know, come out of the gate firing and pull it off but i do think it's a really really tough challenge so i am unfortunately in agreement yeah all right next up we have a special game actually Mm -hmm. we have an nfc south rivalry battle between the carolina panthers and the atlanta falcons oh boy the bird versus cat game there yeah battle (laughs) of the ages yeah true Obviously, uh, both teams are in transition there. Carolina, obviously, with their number one pick there. Yep, we're going to get to see what Bryce Young has uh, to offer. So that'll mm-hmm. be interesting. True. Yeah. And uh, and then Atlanta we have, there. Uh, exactly, then we have Atlanta, who's apparently starting Desmond Ritter, even though they signed a seasoned and accomplished QB from Washington, who is apparently now going to be the backup. Sure. Which makes me very confused and a little disappointed. Yeah, a little head scratcher in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, with me there, uh, I think I'm going to take – with apologies to my cat here. I'm, I'm going to go with the bird here and uh, take the Falcons to uh, beat the Panthers. Ooh, okay. Here's the thing. I was very tempted to as well i wanted to go with atlanta but a little bit of spite came out of me once Mm -hmm. i learned that they were not going to start the heineke and they're going with the rookie Mm -hmm. now i do think that atlanta might have some potential going forward with said rookie and drake london and you know all the little pieces that they're trying to put together but um Mm -hmm. i'm gonna believe in carolina because i think that their defense is better and so we right. already split. I am yep. taking the Panthers, and you are taking Atlanta. True. Now. Our first split of 2023. I know, and it's only the second game. <laughs> but 
the reason this game is special mm-hmm. is because this is our bird pick of the week. Mm-hmm. And we have Dino, who will be joining us to make his prediction for Carolina at Atlanta. Mm-hmm. All right. It is storming, so it's going to be really dark. But I know. All right. Falcons or Panthers? Back up. Back up. You can't attack them from the outside. Back up. Thank you. Falcons or Panthers? I think you're right. We have a problem. What if he doesn't pick one? Because he didn't go down there. How am I supposed to do bird pick if you're not going to cooperate? Look at that. <laughs> he actually took one. What was it? Falcons. And it's a little blurry, but yep, that's the Falcons. Okay. Much appreciated. Okay, now, <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys actually were able to see that. Um, it is currently storming uh, outside, so it was a little bit dark, but I mm-hmm. did manage to grab a photo of what he picked just in case the video wasn't all that clear. Mm-hmm. And here is the, uh, the, here's the damage, basically, that Dino did. Um, completely okay. destroyed the card. And mm-hmm. he went with the Falcons. So, oh. Dino agrees with you, mm-hmm. and of course splits with me, because mm-hmm. why wouldn't he want to be argumentative? True. It's not like we, you know, don't get along or anything. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, there we have that. Um, I will make sure to add him to the clipboard uh, for next week. I didn't get time to do that this time, but he will be down there at the bottom. We're going to have one bird pick of the week, um, rather mm-hmm. than having him try to pick all of them, because that would just be insane. Sure. But I'm very pleased with uh, him actually picking something. I was worried that he wasn't going to. Mm-hmm. But, all right, so game three of the week, we have the Bengals and the Browns in an AFC North battle. True. True. Yeah, obviously the question is uh, how healthy is uh, Joe Burrow for the Bengals? Yeah, that one I am not sure. I'm hoping that he'll start. I really, really am, because, again, sure. I like the guy. But yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, nobody knows that at this moment there. So Yeah. Yeah, so uh, so obviously uh, Cleveland there, uh, they're, they're uh, doing a little, little better. They're in transition there. Yeah, obviously with uh, quarterback who, who will go, go nameless here. <laughs> No means no, okay. Yeah. So, uh, with me there, I'm going with a little bit of an upset here. I'm going to go with the Browns to uh, upset the Bengals. You know, I can see that, but it's so dependent on uh, the status of Joe Burrow. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, I am going to rely on hope. And I personally am taking the Bengals because Mm -hmm. I refuse to kind of support Cleveland um, right now anyway. I'm kind of treating them like the Bears this season just with mm-hmm. a little less angst. Yeah. Um, so uh, you, you're you going going Cleveland are you? Or? Uh, no, I'm taking Cincinnati. I was about to say I, I like Chubb and I like Miles Garrett sure. but I don't like the team and so I'm okay. going to go ahead and trust in uh, Chase Okay. and the like and go with Cincinnati. Okay. Here we go. Yep. So two splits. <laughs> Three games, two yeah. splits. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have the Jaguars visiting the Colts. True. Uh, obviously, the uh, question around the Colts is uh, what's going to happen with the team with uh, Jonathan Taylor uh, sitting out there. 
for um, during contract dispute. I think what's going to happen is Anthony Richardson is going to get some really good fantasy numbers. True. Because he is going to be running it and trying to sling it, and um, he's going to, I think, essentially be the offense uh, without Jonathan Taylor stepping up to shoulder the load. True. Uh, but, and obviously uh, the Jags there uh, uh, never count out Trevor Lawrence there, obviously, uh, with with that late, late push to uh, fairly scrape by in the playoffs there. Yeah, I'm I'm still mad about that game that they had last year where they came back uh, to win it. I think it was against the Chargers. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just it was very very frustrating, mm-hmm. mostly because of the Chargers, but mm-hmm. by proxy, they were also yeah. involved. Did yeah, you know? yeah. Hi, buddy. This is not your game. We already did that. Mm-hmm. I I know you don't like the Chargers either, but. I, I know. I know. What, the Jags or Colts? Actually, I don't know who he's against right now. Maybe he's not a Trevor Lawrence fan because of all the hair. Yeah, true. <laughs> he is my bird. True. We all love Dino. Yeah. yeah, so with uh, me, I, I'm going to go. I got to go with the hot hand, and I'm going Trevor Lawrence and the Jags to uh, beat the Colts. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I just mainly for me the Colts are just so <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you agree? Yep. Feel? I think so. I think it is. Uh the Colts are very out of sorts right now, so mm-hmm. they're gonna be kind of uh garbage for a while, I think. Mm-hmm. At least until they figure out what they're gonna do with uh the Taylor, Taylor situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Speaking of garbage, next matchup is Tampa Bay and Minnesota. True, obviously, uh, Tampa. <laughs> they're uh, they're going to decline, but now, now that the uh, Brady's uh, rode off in the sunset for now. You know, I, I I almost kind of feel bad for that lead in, but yeah. I'm not I'm not going to apologize for it. But just mm-hmm. know, it I, it did hurt me a little bit to say it, just because I'm usually nice. Yeah. But now, now with uh, the Buck QB, now it's uh, Baker Mayfield. Right. It's a huge downgrade. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. I do kind of like Mayfield. Um, I mm-hmm. like his uh, his attitude and his spunk. True. But it's everything else about that team that I'm having trouble with. True. Yeah. Now, my question is, how do you think the Vikings are going to be without Delvin Cook? Yeah, the... Maybe they might might uh, lose a little bit of spark, but uh, I I think they might hang in there in that their uh, NFC uh, North there because it's going to be a uh, going to be a division of uh, pretty weak teams there. Harsh, but okay, I understand yeah. that. Apo- with apologies. To, well, uh, I mean, you know what? Every year has that one division where it's just kind of like whoever's the most passable can win Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um nfc south was kind of that for a while when uh the bucks won the division with a losing record Mm -hmm. uh the nfc east was that way for a while where no team seemed to want to get in so Mm -hmm. it maybe it's just the nfc north's turn to kind of be mediocre at best and then one team kind of fights their way out of it personally i disagree with that i think it's gonna be a dog fight between uh two teams for first place and then The other two teams are going to just kind of figure out who's going to pull up the rear. Sure. But yeah. we'll we'll see how the season unfolds, I guess, sure. with that. Yeah. The, for me there, I, I'm going to go with the Vikings there uh, to uh, pull it out there, but there will be a close game there. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement. I think it, it should be closer than we want or expect it to be. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm definitely, again, taking uh, Minnesota. I think that Jefferson is very good. I think Kirk Cousins is not elite, but adequate, which mm-hmm. is really all you need in this league. Sure. If you have a good sure. team around you, you can be decent. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. He's not the problem on that team, mm-hmm. by no mm-hmm. means. Um, and then, of course, we also have Hawkinson, who mm-hmm. I sort of still like. 
I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it anymore with some of the things that he's uh he said and then completely killing the tight end market uh with his contract mm -hmm. by the way yeah I good on you for getting your money but you just you, you broke the market so mm -hmm. thanks for that yeah. Yeah. but yeah I, I I agree I'm taking Minnesota sure all right next we have the Titans going to New Orleans true uh, now uh Obviously, uh, the Titans, they're, uh, they're, they're going to be a little bit of a down, downgrade this year. question is, who will be their, their big quarterback there? Is it still Tannehill? Or? I believe it would still be Tannehill. Mm -hmm. um, I know that people would probably want it to be Levis time, but I mm -hmm. don't really see him being quite ready. And then Malik Willis is just... Malik Willis at this point. I, I don't think the Titans really know what to do with him or knew what to do with him when they drafted him. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate to see. Yeah. I personally don't think that it's a downgrade because didn't didn't Tennessee get D Hop? Yeah, I think so there. Yeah, so if they have if they have DeAndre Hopkins, mm -hmm. that's gonna open up the run game for Derrick Henry and vice versa. Yeah. Cause like what what do you game plan for? Yeah. If you stop the run, then you're going to open up the passing game because you're always going to be focused yeah. on the run. And if you do like double coverage and all that stuff in your secondary to shut down the passing game, then that's going to open up Derrick Henry to mm -hmm. stiff arm anybody into oblivion. So exactly. I think that they could be a team to watch. I do think that they have a lot of holes that they need to fill. Yeah. But I think that they have some potential to actually do fairly well, especially yeah. with the weak division that they're in. Yeah. And, uh, Obviously, with the Saints, they're uh, they they made a little little upgrade in their quarterback, uh, Derek Carr. They're uh, obviously uh, obviously uh, getting out of Vegas is a good thing there, and uh, very very good thing. Yeah, and now he'll he'll probably go to a much more improved team there and the better offense there. I will definitely say that he's going to be the difference maker. Uh, him and Jamal Williams coming in uh, is going to be very very helpful for New Orleans. I'm still not really sold on the coaching aspect mm -hmm. of it. I don't really like Dennis Allen all that much. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I, he's fine, but mm -hmm. I just maybe I'm just jaded because of where the Saints came from <laughs> with what they had, and then not really being able to further that under new leadership with Allen. So yeah, sure. kind of seeing that was a little bit of a gut punch but then again you also downgraded from drew Brees to mm -hmm. Jameis uh winston and or Taysom hill whoever they happen to try to play at the time mm -hmm. so yeah I, I do think the saints are going to be very very good in that division um mm -hmm. Maybe they're going to win it win it all together oh they they easily could i think again Derek carr is going to be the difference maker down there so mm -hmm. we'll see but um Personally, for me, I am going with the Saints to win it just because I think that they need a really good mm -hmm. statement game to True. mark their claim for the division. True. And uh, obviously, I'm going to agree with you there. And uh, it's going to be the Saints, but I think it's going to be a close game there. Maybe uh, the tie by a field goal or less. Yeah, I can agree with that because I do think they're fairly evenly matched. It's just going to be a matter of how the Saints are going to be able to contain uh, the main two offensive weapons of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'll be very, very interested to see how Tennessee formats their offense now that they have mm -hmm. a uh, a stud receiver and their run game. So I'm looking forward to that game. I think it's going to be fun to watch. Sure. All right. Next up, we have Steelers hosting San Francisco. True. Uh, obviously, the question for the Niners is the uh, status of uh, Brock Purdy there. Uh, last I knew, he was good to go. And if he's not, I'm sad because I drafted him in my fantasy league. True. Uh, uh, as a backup or a uh, starter? It, it flipped from week to week. Currently, for week one, I am starting Jared Goff um, okay. because I think the Kansas City's defense without Chris Jones should be decent for Goff to put mm -hmm. up some decent numbers. Yeah. But Brock Purdy is kind of my my future projection quarterback mm -hmm. for the league so hopefully yeah. he'll be good to go yeah and obviously uh Steelers the question is uh can uh, Mike Coleman there uh try try to make make the team better there 
after this point point last season. I absolutely adore Mike Tomlin. I think that he mm-hmm. is one of the exactly. best coaches in the league. He's one of my favorites. Um, so I think that he should be fine. Mm-hmm. I think that they have some good potential that can build off their momentum from last year. Uh, Kenny Pickett's mm-hmm. going to be in year two. He's going to come into his own a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, the run game seemed decent. And honestly, mm-hmm. though, that defense with TJ Watt at the helm is going to be one to watch for, I think. True. They're true. Yeah. But, but with me, they're, uh, I think this week I'm going to go Niners to uh, beat the Steelers there. I agree. Um, mainly the McCafferty effect. Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, you have to be able to stop McCafferty. And mm-hmm. d- good luck on that. I do think that the defense yeah. of Pittsburgh has one of the best shots of doing it. Mm-hmm. But again, similar to Tennessee, if you can contain him, then you open up people like George Kittle and Debo and the like mm-hmm. uh, to get the ball yeah. downfield. So uh, the mm-hmm. Niners are good. They're, they're going to be very scary good. And that division is going to be fun. Sure. So staying in the NFC West, unfortunately, we have Arizona, God bless them, yeah. and uh, Washington. Yeah, I think with the Cardinals, uh, they're obviously uh, rebuilding for uh, next year. There wouldn't surprise me if they'll try to tank so they can get the number one pick in the 2025 there. Yeah, that was the rumor. Um, the rumor was that they wanted to go for the USC quarterback next year once he sure. declares um so they're going to try sure. to move murray but i don't really know about that especially with yeah. the contract that they gave yeah. him and his reputation yeah. in the league so yeah true wouldn't surprise me if uh probably Kyler murray there uh, will probably play for play baseball with the uh, athletics once they move to vegas <laughs> you think he's gonna move sports because he just can't hack it as a qb yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad, actually. But <laughs> hey, you know what? If, if he does, more power to you. I'm sure the workload's less. Yeah, true. Well, then again, not really. You still have to focus and pay attention. Like, true. there's a lot less, um, like, of a playbook to mm-hmm. memorize or study or plan for in that sport, I think. So maybe that would be more in line with him. Mm-hmm. But true. I, I don't know. I think... I think he gets a lot of flack, and most of it is deserved, but it's just so fun mm-hmm. to make fun of him yeah. for all That's the true. stupid stuff That's that comes true. out. True. And obviously, uh, the commanders there are are uh, are getting going to be better there. Uh, they just need uh, a little little more uh, offense, and uh, with uh, new ownership, they'll they'll probably spend out the big bucks there to uh, maybe uh, get get better in that they're uh, in a C East there. I'm expecting a splash for next year. Um, unfortunately, they took over ownership a little bit too late in the season to, uh, or late in the year rather, to actually mm-hmm. do anything meaningful. Um, True. I think that, you know, Sam Howe, I'm not entirely sure about him at QB, but I do think that he would be okay. uh, a better option than say someone like Wentz, who they were trying to start last year. Um, True. I'm still a little bit bitter that they got rid of the QB that the fan base and the team actually liked mm-hmm. and won Taylor for. Heineke? Yeah, yeah. I just, I didn't want to mm-hmm. say his name because mm-hmm. I talk about it too much. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, he was, mm-hmm. he was a really good QB for them. And so to not like stick that out was a little questionable, mm-hmm. but I understand trying to hand the reins off to your, um, your rookie drafted QB. So, I mean, sure. you drafted him for a reason, right? So but with me, uh, I'm going to go with the Commanders this week to uh, beat the Cardinals. I agree. I just don't really see the Cardinals having anything this year, to be fair. Um, mm-hmm. Murray isn't going to play for a while because he's mm-hmm. hurt again. And I think yeah. they went out there and got Josh Dobbs as the QB. So not horrible. Mm-hmm. It could be worse. But also... You're facing the defense of Washington, which, mm-hmm. if I remember correctly, was uh, Bussin last mm-hmm. year. Yeah. I might be getting the uh, mm-hmm. wrong side of the ball here, but I'm pretty sure that D-line was Bussin. So mm-hmm. well, we'll see if they can continue this year. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next up, we have Baltimore with their newly signed Lamar Jackson. 
-hmm. hosting Texans with the yeah. new QB of CJ Stroud. True. And there, here's another team that's in, in transition there, the Texans there. Yep. I will so. be very, very curious uh, how that coach does. Cause I do, I like the hire of him as yeah. their, um, as their head coach. So I'm kind of hoping that he does well. It's going to be a bit of a process to rebuild, but I don't have faith in the Texans uh, front office to actually yeah. do the right things. Yeah. And uh, like you said, with the Ravens there, Lamar Jackson's uh, contract thing is over. So you got, he's a uh, back, back full circle with the team there. And obviously uh, their new wide receiver, Mr. OBJ. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was fabulous. I love the fact that he's on a team again. Um, my thing, I'm kind of hoping, and this is a little bit sick, but I kind of hope that Lamar Jackson uh, doesn't play in the latter part of the year again, just mm -hmm. to kind of prove the point that he's always missing games when it matters. True. Like, you know, two years in a row, he was hurt at the end of the season. Um, and of course, it's probably due to his play style, and I don't want him to get hurt, but I do think it would be kind of funny that he yeah, gets mega true. contract and then it's like a repeat year from the previous two. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it, morbidly, I do think that'd be funny. I don't think it's going to happen, yeah. but true. it'd be comedic. But now that he's got money there, uh, wouldn't surprise me there if uh, he, he goes on goes on the. Uh, Bit, bit of a run there. Pun intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so with, with me, obviously, I'm going to go with the Ravens over the Texans. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a no-brainer for me already. Um, I know anything can happen any given Sunday. It's the beginning of a new year. But, mm -hmm. come on. <laughs> it's, it's Houston. Mm -hmm. No. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And, and that's not even saying anything good about Baltimore. It's just the fact that it's Houston. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up, I hate this one already. We have Aaron Rodgers lists Green Bay mm -hmm. and the Bears. True. Obviously, uh, you're going to kind of bring back your old hashtag there. The freaking Bears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. I freaking hate the bears. <laughs> you probably uh, have that little little, uh, little uh, meme there uh, that says, uh, to that daddy, what's playing like there?" And uh, that the father's like, uh, "I don't know. We're bears fans." Yeah, yeah. I, I have that one actually. I still have an image saved. Uh, let me. Yeah. Bears mm -hmm. meme. I still have it on the PC. It's not about the whole winning thing. I believe it was about a yeah. quarterback. Yeah, true. Justin um, Fields there. Yeah, I have this one, mm -hmm. which is coincidence. I think not. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. I've got. Mm -hmm. Zoop. So, what's a quarterback? I don't know, son. We're Bears fans. <laughs> yeah. Which, if you think about it, it's fairly accurate. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying that Justin Fields is horrible. I'm just saying they have true. a history of not really having quarterbacks true yeah. of note on the team so true the big question for the packers is uh will jordan love be be the the quarterback that that would uh end up being like aaron Rodgers after uh brett Favre left i'm not entirely sure i'm not really sold on him but he's had like what four or five years i believe to mm. prepare for this mm -hmm. moment so if he's not ready mm -hmm. it, it's on him and the previous quarterback for not assisting him because he's a selfish True. person mm -hmm. yeah but with with me this week there uh i expect jordan love to uh come out to the, come out with his first game gun to blaze in there Ho hopefully uh hopefully uh He'll make the Packers fans forget all about, about Mr. Rogers. Uh, I don't think it's going to take a long time before that happens. Um, if ever, mm -hmm. I will say though, I do think that he has something to prove, uh, mm -hmm. to the fan base, to the team and to himself. So mm -hmm. I'm expecting him to at least, you know, put forth his best effort. Mm -hmm. Um, 
but for me personally, I am taking the Packers simply because they're the lesser of two evils. True. Um, I refuse and... to go with the Bears. Frick the Bears. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, Jordan Love, I actually don't mind. Like, as, as a mm -hmm. human yet, he seems to be fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm not anti-Green yeah. Bay as far as that's concerned. And right. I think they have a very young offense. So it'll be interesting to see how they can rebound from having mm -hmm. a steady veteran presence to mm -hmm. more of a rebuilt young mm -hmm. offense True. to go forward. So I'm I'm curious. Do I really mm -hmm. care? No, but I think it'll be interesting. And for this game in particular, I want them to do well just because anytime the Bears lose is a good day for me. Yeah, true. Obviously, I'm going to agree with you on that. Yeah. All right, so next up, this one I'm really looking forward to as well. We have the Raiders and Denver in a little AFC West battle. True. The question is with the Broncos there, is Sean Payton the right coach for uh, Russell Wilson? I would flip that around and say, is Russell Wilson the right quarterback for Sean Payton? Go call him the pot black there. <laughs> a little bit. It's just, you know, I, I like to play things a little bit differently. I think that, look, you you don't, it reminds me of the, um, the replacements. I don't know if you've ever watched that movie, but there's a line yeah. in there, something about like, uh, the, the coach is like, that's not how I coach. And then this mm -hmm. like hot shot diva QB reminds me of a few people, was like, yeah, well, that's how I play. And then they ended up losing that game because it was all on the QB and making mistakes because he wasn't following the coach's orders. So I, I kind of compare it to that a little bit with Denver. Um, mm -hmm. Sean Payton runs that show now, right? And so mm -hmm. Russell Wilson has to be the quarterback for Sean Payton, not Sean Payton being the True. coach for Russell Wilson. True. And so I'm very curious to see what happens there. I do believe in Sean Payton as a coach. I think he's fantastic. Yeah. 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 And obviously, uh, Vegas, their uh, the question is, uh, will, will their, their quarterback hold up there? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that. I do think that Jimmy G is uh, accident prone, injury prone. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm also not at all surprised that Vegas went out and got him because Josh McDaniels needs uh, comfort and he needs True. players that he knows to kind of be that that security bubble for himself. And so they went out and got a QB that he has a history with it back in New England. So I'm not True. at all surprised because, yeah. I mean, if he can't make it work with Derek Carr, then they had to go out and get somebody that he is already familiar with. So True. yeah. I, I don't but, know. I'm not. I'm not sold on the Raiders either. Yeah. Question is, if uh, Jimmy G uh, starts to struggle there, will they have uh, Tom Brady on speed dial? <sighs> you know. <laughs> Sorry. You know, that's been the rumor. Um, mm -hmm. Last I heard anything, I don't know if this is true, but last mm -hmm. I heard, he was an investor in the mm -hmm. Raiders. Like, actually, from, from an owner's perspective. And so you can't True. be both. You, you, can't, yeah. you can't play for the team that you're invested in. Um, that's True. conflict of interest. Yeah. And so if that's actually what he yeah. did, then he's yeah. out. Yeah. He's retired. Just go help the Mannings on the Manning cast and call it good. Go go do your oh, yeah. commentary and I thing. I heard, heard uh, next season that uh, he, he'll probably be in the booth for Fox there. Probably, yeah. So, yeah, just, just go there. Take Greg Olson's mm -hmm. job. It's fine. Mm -hmm. He'll rebound. Just stay mm -hmm. off the field. Now is the mm -hmm. time to just use your yeah. NFL knowledge and prowess in other ways mm -hmm. to help the game. Yeah, exactly there. But with, with me, uh, I'm going to go believe in Sean Payton, Russell Wilson this week there in the Broncos who uh, beat the Raiders there, but it's going to be real close. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's going to be a close game, but I am also taking Denver mostly just because of Sean Payton. Not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, next we have the Eagles, who did very, very well last year. Came so close. True. Going to New England. Yeah. And obviously, uh, New England's a bit of a mess lately. They're, uh, I don't know how, how Belichick's going to survive this season there with... Uh, different players there because obviously uh they released uh their backup qb uh 
Zappy there, and then the, they went out and uh, signed the Zeke, Zeke Elliott. Yeah, I, I think that Zeke's going to help them out, though. Um, mm -hmm. I know that he might look like he's completely out of shape or something from the photos that have been circulating uh, last I've seen, but I think that he's going to be a definite benefit. And mm -hmm. the waving of Zappy was confusing in my opinion, but they had to make a choice between him and Mac Jones. And yeah. so they, they finally, you know, firmly planted themselves in Mac Jones' corner. And I believe they brought Zappy back for the practice squad. Yeah. I think I think he cleared waivers and went back to him. So he'll still be yeah. around to help get Jones out of trouble if they need him. But for now, I think mm -hmm. I think they'll be okay. True. Yeah, yeah, and obviously uh, the Eagles are are way too powerful team there. Yeah, they're still pretty scary strong. I still want them to lose because of their affiliation with Matt Patricia, whether he's actually going to be coaching anything or not. I don't mm -hmm. like the fact that he's employed in the league, and um, I want them to lose because of it. But uh, with me there, with Paul DCU, uh, I think the Eagles are going to win this week there. I'm still riding, riding there in their big name quarterback there. So uh, I think the Eagles will, will beat the Patriots, but it'll be by field goal or less. I think it's going to be more of a blowout than that. I don't think it's going to be nearly as close as it should be for week one. Mm -hmm. And I am taking Philadelphia, unfortunately. I think that they are mm -hmm. very strong. Um, yeah. Darius Slay still there. I love Darius Slay. Uh, Hurts means business. So... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll see um, how their entire season goes, but for this week, I will concede that they are the better team, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, this next one, on the other hand, is very back and forth. I struggled over this pick. We have the Dolphins and the Chargers. True. This one's going to be, a, be another close game there. Obviously, uh, Justin Herbert there and the Chargers there are uh, our powerful team there to watch out for. Could be a dark horse. Yeah, they have potential. Mm -hmm. As long as they can stop choking, they'll be fine. Yeah, that's true. And obviously Miami there, the big question is uh, how Tua is going to be this this season there. Uh, avoid all the concussions there. Yeah, they need a medical team to actually look out for him. Mm -hmm. and, and everybody on that team. Um, they need to stop dropping the ball as far as that is concerned. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. uh, that was not okay. I was actually mad about that on his behalf. Mm -hmm. It was a messed up problem. Um, mm -hmm. I will say, though, that you have two really, really good wide receivers where if you can at least get the ball in their hands, mm -hmm. things will happen. True. So I, I think that they're a scary team to watch as well. I just, the division that they're in is going to be so hotly contested that they're going to have to either win it all out or just hope for mm -hmm. a wild card spot. True. Yeah, but with me there, I think the Chargers are going to be the wild card team there as well there. Yeah, and that's the thing too. Like the AFC has so many teams that are like middle of the pack that it's really hard True. to think about who's going to stand out from them. True, there. Yeah. But with me there, uh, this is going to be another close game. I think I'm going to go with the Chargers there at home to uh, beat the Dolphins. Uh, you know what? Being the home team makes sense on that, and I should have considered that. Uh, we split again, because I'm actually taking the Dolphins in this one. Okay. Um, mostly because, if you think about it, uh, Atlanta and the Chargers have kind of been my bane for this entire predictions series. And so mm -hmm. I'm just kind of trying to avoid them for week one to try to set things off on the right path. Yeah. But now that I've done that, watch both of them end up winning mm -hmm. just to spite me yeah. they, they would do that okay all right so now we go back to the nfc west for another rivalry game with the rams and seattle yeah. obviously the rams are going to be in a little bit of uh, turmoil this season there i 100 percent agree couldn't happen to a nicer team true uh, obviously uh Years after winning their Super Bowl, there uh, they just simply, simply the wheels came off their their car there. Because they couldn't afford to keep the team they had. True. 
you had weapons like Jalen Ramsey and Odell Beckham, who I do not like, but they were both, you know, valid weapons yeah. on that team. And you couldn't afford to keep them when you have Stafford's contract, Aaron Donald's contract, and you had to pay Cooper Cup to stay. Yeah, so, true. you know, they, they have a yeah. lot of turnover. And that that's what happens when you buy players to get yourself into the Super Bowl. Their paychecks yeah. come up. Mm-hmm. And obviously with uh, Seattle there, uh, they still have the coaching genius of uh, Pete Carroll there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, obviously he can lead uh, any quarterback there to a uh, huge victory. And of course, uh, with Seattle, you have the 12th man there. Yeah. Making noise. Yeah. Being at home is going to be very, very helpful. Also, mm -hmm. I love this matchup from a coaching perspective because you have the experience mm -hmm. and wisdom of Pete Carroll versus the upstart arrogance of Sean McVay. And so it's really mm -hmm. like a, like a, an energetic versus a chill, steady mm -hmm. hand, which I think is going to be really interesting to see play out. True. But well, with me there, I think this one's going to be a blowout there. I'm going to go with uh, Seattle to slaughter the Rams this week. <laughs> I'm not going to say slaughter, but I do agree that the Seahawks are going to win this one. Um, I like Stafford still, of course, for everything that he did for my team, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I honestly think that he should have retired last year after he won the Super Bowl. You you accomplished your goal. You did what you said you were going to do. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, not last year, but like the year after he won, he should have just retired it because mm -hmm. you're really close to being broken. And yeah. it's going to hurt to see. Mm -hmm. But let's hope it doesn't happen. But I'm still taking Seattle because they're at home. Mm -hmm. And I like Pete Carroll a heck of a lot more than I do Sean McVay. Mm -hmm. All righty. Now we have another good rivalry with the Cowboys and the Giants. Yeah, the Sunday Nighter game yeah. there. Here on Sunday night. True. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the Gi Giants there, uh, can they recover from the turmoil in the offseason with uh, Saquon Barkley there? I mean, considering that they did kind of get his contract resolved, I don't think there's a whole lot of turmoil there. Um, I understand mm -hmm. his point, though, with them giving Daniel Jones $45 million um, mm -hmm. for being an adequate quarterback. True. Not exactly your star quarterback. Um, that's going to be the the difference maker. Where Saquon Barkley was more of your your offense, in my opinion. So I understand him wanting his wanting his pay. But I'm just True. glad that they actually got it figured out before the season started. Yeah. True. Yeah. The question is, uh, how long before he'll he'll have a tantrum there and the demand demand a longer contract there. Um, probably the end of the season. Um, I think that yeah. he's not going to be a giant next year at this rate. I think that sure. he signed it um, for the one year. Let's make the most of it. Let's get this over with, and then let me go um, yeah. chase my money and find my place in the league. So yeah, unless uh, he ends up like uh, Zeke there, uh, uh, wandering around, then uh, before the season starts, he'll he'll sign with the most adequate team. Yeah, I don't really know where he would go, uh, like who would even need a running back. But if um, if the Colts end up getting rid of Jonathan Taylor, he could go there next year. That could be a spot. True. Good idea. The question is now uh, with the Cowboys there, uh, hopefully uh, they'll have, have a better running back to replace the Merrick for uh, Dak to, to target. Um, well, they, I know they have Tony Pollard. I yeah. know they signed another running back, but I'm not entirely sure who. I've completely forgotten already. So, yeah. Papa Agron, uh, if you're watching this late in the video, you can correct me and let me know uh, who they mm -hmm. signed to be helpful. Mm -hmm. um, I will say that having Zeke gone kind of means that you're not going to have any more of those silly, let's put a running back at center kind of plays like mm -hmm. they ended off last year with. Um, as sure. funny as that would be, they're not going to do that ever again. True. So that's good. Uh, I'm not thinking there it's going to be, be a close game. Might be a touchdown or less there. I, I'm going to go with the Cowboys there to uh, beat Danny Dice and the Giants. Weirdly enough, I actually agree. 
Mm -hmm. um, mostly because I'm not that much of a fan of uh, Daniel Jones. Mm -hmm. I like uh, the coach for the Giants, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I just have a weird feeling about Dallas mm -hmm. this year. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but I I'm going with them for this week. Uh, we'll see what I feel, you know, afterwards, of course, but I just have a, mm -hmm. a gut feeling about this one. Sure. And if we're wrong, we'll, we'll regret it next week. Yeah, but I mean, again, look, it's it's week one. All we have to go on really are our gut instincts, and so we're doing the best we can. Right. We might say some things that we regret later, but for now, we're just mm -hmm. going to go for it. Raw, raw footage as it is. Sure. Now, final game of the week. We have the Bills, who are in some internal turmoil mm -hmm. and the jets who as we know have mr rogers now leading the helm and basically they are the new york packers now with as many former packers as they brought over with him true yeah but uh, as far as the turmoil they're uh with the bills there they they still have the coaching there and they still have uh josh allen that qb there they'll yep. be all right with that I would just be concerned about their defense. Like, as far as on the field goes, mm -hmm. their defense is what concerns me. Yeah. That could be a little, little bit of a problem there. Uh, hopefully, uh, Von Miller comes back soon there. Yeah, I hope so, too, because they kind of need, you know, some kind of a pillar on defense. And I don't think he's uh, healthy enough to go this week, unfortunately. Yeah, that sucks. It does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and obviously the Jets there, uh, Mr. Rogers there, uh, everybody's thinking he's going to be the savior for the Jets there, the second coming of Joe Namath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I hope not. Yeah, but we they said that about Brett Favre years ago, and uh, he was a bit of a disaster there. Yeah, I don't really remember his run in the Jets that well, to be fair. I know that he did fairly decent, but mm -hmm. I don't really remember them doing a whole lot as far as postseason goes. True. But then again, that was before I started like following it closely, so maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true there. But uh, with me there, uh, I think uh, the Bills will overcome the turmoil there, and uh, obviously Josh Allen's going to probably have a huge game there. Uh, and they're, are going to beat the Jets by, by hook or crook there, with apologies to all your Aaron Rodgers fans. If they exist on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, I uh, I tend to agree. I think Josh Allen has to ball out. He has to. Mm -hmm. um, the yeah. defense of the Jets is going to be tough admittedly um you've got sauce gardner and all the other pieces that they built off of the past couple of years mm -hmm. and with robert sala being a more defensive mind um it is going to be yeah. a challenge but i'm hoping that the bills offense is high powered enough to get through that um mm -hmm. the jets offense of course we already know they've uh rebuilt themselves with a few cheese heads to help rogers feel more at home Mm -hmm. So I think it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, for me, I am taking the Bills just because I refuse yeah. to go with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that. So um, for the rest of our picks now, if I can find my freaking tab. All right. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of them to go through. So bear okay. with me. This is going to be a long video, y'all. Apologies to everyone. Yeah, it's it's a long video, but it's week one, and this is what we're here for. Mm -hmm. So, first up, we have Trolls picks for week one. He has taken the Chiefs, Panthers, Ravens, Bengals, Jags, Vikings, Saints, although honestly he sees the Titans winning, mm -hmm. the Niners, Commanders, Bears, boo, yeah. but I get it. <laughs> Broncos, mm -hmm. Chargers, Eagles, Seahawks, Cowboys, and Jets. Again, boo, but I get it. Mm -hmm. I agree with both of those picks that I booed, but <laughs> I refuse to go with it. 
just I, mm -hmm. I can't I can't bring myself to do it yeah next up we have Papa Agron who gave reasons for everything and I love it yeah. He has the chiefs over the lions, saying, Sorry, Joy, the wall here is too big for you guys just yet. Mm -hmm. I agree and disagree at the same time. We'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, Bengals over the browns. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know. Uh, Ravens over the Texans. Uh, Lamar going to show why he's the best running back in the league. Mm -hmm. You right. Uh, Panthers over the Falcons. We're going to see how Bryce Young fares. Mm-hmm. Commanders over the Cardinals because Scary Terry is going to make a comeback, mm -hmm. which I can agree with. Um, I do like him as a receiver, so mm -hmm. we'll see how yeah. Sam Howe can, uh, mm -hmm. can do with him. Jags over the Colts because the Jags are going to build on what they had last year. Mm -hmm. Niners over the Steelers because that's a team that's just built to win. Mm-hmm. Saints over the Titans, and he sees the Saints winning their division this year. Mm -hmm. Honestly, okay. I agree. 100%. Mm -hmm. Broncos over the Raiders, because Sean Payton is going to turn it around. Mm -hmm. Eagles over the Patriots. Hate to say that. Uh, he is the Cowboys fan of the group, so he really hates mm -hmm. going with the Eagles, but he had to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, Seahawks over the Rams. Geno Carey. Mm -hmm. Dolphins over the Chargers. Balls are going to fly. 100% mm -hmm. agree. Might be a shootout. Could be. Bears over the Packers. I'm not sold on Jordan Love. I want to be sold on Love, but I agree. I'm not quite yet, but I'm hoping mm -hmm. that he'll prove us both wrong. Mm -hmm. Cowboys over the Giants in complete bias because they are mm -hmm. notoriously bad week one, but mm -hmm. he believes. Yeah. You have to believe. And if you're not going to believe in your own team, who will? Yeah. Jets over the Bills because he thinks no one else is going to make that pick. Yeah. Which is fair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I skipped over one of the important ones. Uh, and the whole reason for that was because I have this gif. Vikings mm -hmm. over the Bucks because they can't stop Jefferson from doing the gritty. True. And then next we have SDS's picks. He went mm -hmm. with the Lions. Uh, this is it. This is their year. And it starts by beating Kermit the Frog at home. <laughs> <sighs> he took the Bengals. He took the Ravens, saying, who do I hate more, the running back playing QB or the QB from Ohio State? Yeah. Yes. Uh, he took the Bucks over the Vikings, and he'll never let anyone forget it. Skull frauds. <laughs> also, Evans and Godwin are going to chew up their secondary. That is assuming that Evans actually stays and gets a new contract. Uh, last I knew he was not, but we will see how that works out. Mm -hmm. He took the Panthers. He took the Commanders. Um, then the Cardinals might actually not win a game all year. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they're going to go 0-17, mm -hmm. but it's fun to dream. Mm -hmm. Yep. He took the Niners. He took the Saints, just saying, ew. Mm -hmm. um, he took the Eagles, Seahawks, and Dolphins. Took the Packers, saying to force Fields to throw and double cover more. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. um, he took the Giants. Saquon is going to be auditioning for teams next year, so he may go ballistic until he stubs his toe and goes on IR midway through the season. Good. And then he took the Bills. Good reason. And then he also has a few other add-ons to add in. Um, his picks for division winners are the Bills, Bengals, Chiefs, and Jags, and then the Eagles, Lions, Niners, and Bucks, with wildcard teams being the Jets, Dolphins, Steelers, or Seahawks, Packers, and Cowboys. Yep. He has Jalen Hurts being the MVP, Christian McCafferty being the Offensive Player of the Year, Micah Parsons mm -hmm. or Sauce Gardner being the Defensive Player of the Year, Mm -hmm. uh, Damar Hamlin being the comeback player of the year. Yeah, good Bryce, pace there. Yep, Bryce Young is the offensive rookie of the year. Devin Witherspoon mm -hmm. is the defensive rookie of the year. And Dan Campbell as coach of the year. Okay. I hope. Yeah. But no. Yeah. Uh, with me, coach of the year, it's obviously going to be Sean Payton. 
that's assuming that he actually can turn the Broncos around into a playoff contending team right now. Yeah. If he can do that in yeah. one year, 100% mm -hmm. coach of the year candidate. I like the yeah. uh, pick of Dan Campbell being coach of the year because yeah. of how close he got last year. Yeah. But I think that the league is going to snub him again because it's mm -hmm. Detroit versus everybody for a reason. Yeah. All right. And then we have John's picks of the week. <laughs> this one is um, fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> he took the Chiefs saying, do I want to drink something sugary? Serving size, 12 ounce, 70 calories, 16 grams of sugar, 30 milligrams of sodium, or something salty. Serving size, one ounce. Serving size may vary due to the presence on the field. Calories, 25 grams, zero sugar, 30 milligrams sodium, two grams of protein, and a whole slew of vitamins and minerals. You got to be healthy. Mm -hmm. So basically, does he want the Kool-Aid of the Lions or the salty drink of the Chiefs? <clears throat> Take that how you will. Yeah. He Take went with the, uh, Yep, exactly. Something like that, anyway. Um, he went with the Bengals and the Ravens. He took the Vikings, mm -hmm. saying, STS, you know that it makes sense. Mm -hmm. He went Panthers over Falcons, no Taylor, no win. Appreciate mm -hmm. the support. He took the Commanders, Jags, Niners, Saints, and Eagles. Okay. He took the Seahawks, literally, because they're at home and there's no Cooper Cup. He took the Chargers and the Bears, saying, sorry, but I want a slapped pack. Kind of same, to be fair. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he took the Cowboys and the Bills to round that off. Okay. And then we have, finally, Buffs picks. Oh, <laughs> he took the Lions. I mean, if they plan to be the division champs, then they need to start with a big win. Mm -hmm. He took the Bengals, because picking against Deshaun... Uh, how do I say this again? I really should have asked him for pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Masustin? Masustin? Mm -hmm. Is easy money. Uh, Ravens saying, I mean, are we really expecting that much from the Texans yet? Mm -hmm. No. Took the Vikings because uh, Baker Mayfield is more of a fraud than SDS thinks that a 13 win team is. <laughs> Also, the team lost the most winning QB in franchise history with more than three games started. Mm -hmm. Dino True, was. Dino. <laughs> exactly. Same. Um, he went with a commander since Cardinals are going to make like Dan Snyder and sell this game. Mm -hmm. uh, Jags, because the Colts are dookie potential until further notice. Mm -hmm. Niners, because they should be good, like Super Bowl good. Mm -hmm. Saints, how do I pick against the clear favorite for the NFC South? Mm -hmm. uh, Raiders because F it we ball mm -hmm. uh, Eagles gross but you know gotta do what I gotta do mm -hmm. uh, Seahawks because Stafford makes like my laundry and got washed that hurts mm -hmm. me ouch but you're not wrong mm -hmm. uh, Dolphins because tank for Tua mm -hmm. <laughs> he took the Packers uh, when life gives you turds pick one because it really doesn't matter anyway <laughs> he uh, went with the Giants because Danny Dimes needs to prove his contract and besides that, Trayvon had beyond them Twitter likes don't look, it's not worth it True. can confirm uh, don't look mm -hmm. he went with the Bills because Aaron Rodgers may be better than Wilson but he is old True. thank you Buff I appreciate that okay so, now it is time for cool. Dino to be very happy that we're almost done with the episode. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> it's time for all of us to uh, look in our crystal ball. Yep, it is. Uh, yeah, it's Super Bowl time. It's time to celebrate. It is uh, <laughs> Superb <laughs> Owl Future Cast. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dino. All right, so. Like I said at the beginning of this uh, episode, a freaking hour ago, we have a uh, little deal going on with the guys in the predictions where we will be trying to predict... Buddy, I swear. I'm going to throw this at you. <laughs> we have picking uh, both teams in the Super Bowl. <laughs> and... 
the score of the game. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, who do we see in Super Bowl 58 on February 11, 2024 in, at Alliance Stadium in Vegas? Exactly. Will we potentially have the Raiders hosting and playing? No. Mm -hmm. No. No, we won't. But, but with uh, me there, obviously uh, the AFC, you got to go with the uh, defend, defending champs there, uh, Kansas City Chiefs there, uh, until uh, Mahomes slips up there. Uh, he's st still the number one, one QB in that, 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 that uh, conference there. Paul D's the Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers, and Herbert, and any other, any other QB there. Yeah, I think for me, Kansas City comes with coaching is my biggest thing on that. I absolutely love Andy Reid, and I think that yeah. if they make it back for another one, it's going to be because of him. True. Yeah. But with me, the NFC there, uh, there's uh, not not a lot th there for as uh, strong candidates for strong teams this year. But uh, with me there. I'm going to go for a tiny bit of a safe bet. I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles to be the NFC representative. Okay, so you think we're going to have a, a replay of last year and have some kind of a rematch of sorts? Yeah. Okay. The, the Andy Reid Bowl, basically. Yeah, uh, another Kelsey Bowl, another Reid Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should I give the final score? For uh, yeah. Game? Yeah. What do you think the score is going to be between the Chiefs and the Eagles if they face off? Okay. I think think there's going to be a repeat this year, and uh, I'm going to go with the Kansas State Chiefs to beat the Philadelphia Eagles, 31-27. All right. Not bad. I think that's uh, that's a very safe and conservative pick, which is very good considering what we're doing mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, I don't really want to agree with you on uh, the Chiefs' end of it. But when I look at the AFC teams, I don't really see a lot of standouts for that particular conference of what could be, like, <laughs> the uh, representative in the big game. So mm -hmm. I do want to say Kansas City. I think that it could be a bit of a sleeper and say maybe Cincinnati, depending on how Burrow does. But mm -hmm. I'm going to say Kansas City for the AFC. And I am going to take San Francisco as the NFC. Whoa. Yeah. Exactly. You're you're on the Brock Brock Purdy train. I I hopped on that train last year, and I don't plan on getting off. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely firmly in that corner. Um. I think that they have potential, and if it's not going to be this year, they're working their way towards it. Um. Mm -hmm. McCaffrey effect is going to be in full effect, and I think that they have more of a more than I. <laughs> More of an identity this year than last year because now they have their steady hand at QB and they know what they're going to do. And so for that reason, I am going to say that the Niners will upset the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. And I think they're going to win it. And I think it's going to be a very, very tight matchup. I'm thinking it's going to be more of a shootout. And I'm expecting it to be like a 38-36 Okay. A, a bit weird, but I think that mm -hmm. um, it's going to come down to maybe a, a kick to pull it off. And we all know how special teams in the clutch goes if you're not Justin Tucker. So I think that they're going to lose by um, a field goal miss. I think that would be fun. Okay. Now on to everybody yeah. else's. Now, if, if, if I'm allowed to, we have <laughs> the other Super Bowl picks. We have Agron, who says that the Jets are going to win over the 49ers in the Super Bowl 20-17 to for the sake of the storyline. Okay. I respect it, but I hate it at the same time. So hopefully you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Next we have Troll, who took Jags Vikings. 31-24 uh, Jags win. 100% um, just mm -hmm. picking teams and points randomly. That's that's on. So brand. I guess he's on the Trevor Lawrence uh, family. It's it was yeah yeah we can we can say that. Um, it's on brand. It fits. I respect it. Appreciate mm -hmm. you. We have John's pick, which is Niners twenty seven, Bills sixteen. 
Uh, he wanted to go with the Ravens as a dark horse with uh, with like, some gut instinct, but Burrow is likely to be the week one starter. So I swear, if the Ravens do get in, he's going to be uh, very mad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Next up is SDS's pick, with the Super Bowl being the Bills and the Niners, with Buffalo finally getting over the hump that is the Chiefs and the Bengals in his projection. They'll win in a tight game, 31-28. Okay. And then Buff. Super Bowl will be the Bills versus the Vikings, battle of the 0-4, and the Vikings will do the darn thing, clap cheeks, and win 33-30. to Skull on that. <laughs> Skull. Indeed. <laughs> and so there we have it. That is officially week one in the books. I apologize for how long this video is, but again, <laughs> week one had a lot of stuff to go through, and I am just sure. stoked to be back. Yeah, me too. There, uh, obviously, to everybody playing their uh, fancy, fancy leagues, there. Best of luck this year. Boy, boy, the uh, picking players that are injury prone. Oh boy, yeah. Um, my my fantasy league that I joined this year, um, rather than running my own because I didn't really have a whole lot of time to, you know, be in a bunch of them, I joined a uh, Buffs Dynasty League, and with that one, your team kind of carries over. That's why I took Brock Purdy as my future. So I'm really hoping that my Jared Goff pick works out and doesn't make me look stupid. <laughs> mm-hmm. But last year's numbers were pretty good. Um, their team overall is fairly well-rounded offensively, so I am hopeful. Yeah. I also and took their defense, which scares me, <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah. And, and uh, obviously to everybody watching this, please uh, like and subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell for all future uh videos we do yep because we will upload a new video for the predictions versus every thursday at noon to get us prepared for the thursday night game coming up so with that being said mm-hmm. love y'all for sticking with us through all this um it's been a very mm-hmm. long time since we've been back shaking off a bit of the recording rust but mm-hmm. it was really fun i thoroughly enjoyed it thank you again for deciding to join me with um with the verses it's been very very fun and i'm very happy that you uh agreed to do this yeah not a problem there uh let's uh hopefully uh have a have another great season of of fun and sandy yeah it's gonna be very very fun i'm gonna love seeing the standings change week to week and i hope to catch you guys next week for more of the verses thank you everyone see you next week <laughs>